Version 7.3.4 was released today. And as part of the release, AI plugins are now available for the Mac operating system. They've been available on Windows for a while now, but I don't have a Windows computer. I'm on a Mac, so I'm excited to try these out. And today I want to try out two of them in particular. First, the AI noise suppression, and then the whisper transcription. Take a look at the screen that I've got open here. I have Audacity version 3.7.4 running, and I have a video that I want to bring into it. I went outside this morning and recorded a video outdoors so I could get a little bit more noise in the uh, recording itself to see how this AI noise suppression works in this version of Audacity. So what I'm going to do is take this video that I've got here, and I'm just going to drag it into Audacity, and Audacity will pull the audio off of it, and then we can play around with the audio and see what we can do. So I've dragged the uh, video in, and there's my audio right there, big and bold. But let's put some loudness normalization on there before we do anything else. If I come up to the effect drop-down window, and I come down to volume and compression, let's normalize the loudness. Whoop. Not to do that. So we're going to come up to the effect drop-down window, and we're going to go to volume and compression, and we're going to normalize the loudness. Let's normalize it to a minus 19 dB. Let's hit apply, and just like that, we've got it. Now I want to get rid of some of these, these high peaks, so I'm going to come back up to the effects drop-down window again, and I'm going to go into legacy, and I'm going to open up the legacy limiter, which was taken away there for a little while, but now it's back. It's called the legacy limiter. This is the limiter that's been in Audacity since day one. It's the one I prefer to use. So let's come back in here and let's put the limiter to a negative three. Let's keep it at a soft limit and click apply. So now our audio looks a little bit better. So you can see that there is some noise in this file. I left a few seconds of silence right here. So I'm going to select through that particular silence. And then I'm going to hit the loop button. And then I'm going to place my cursor here somewhere in that loop, and I'm going to press the space bar to play. And it's going to loop through that noise. And while it does, let's keep a close eye on the playback meter toolbar. That's quite a bit of noise. It peak, it's peaking out almost at a negative 36. So now what I want to do is let's just take this piece right here again. And let's come up to the effect drop down window and let's apply that AI noise suppression. You'll find it under effect and then open Vino AI effects. Now, there's other effects in here that, that I'm not going to mess with because I don't do music anymore. But particularly, I want to look at the noise suppression right now. And then in a minute, we'll look at the whisper transcription. So I want to come down to noise suppression and it's going to open up this window here. You can see that there are no factory presets. There's nothing in here. I don't know a lot about this window just yet. Again, this just came out this morning and I've only now begun uh, to play around with it. So I'm not real sure what everything does here, but I'm going to find out and then I'll come back and uh, do another video to show you what things are in here. But I'm going to leave this as Deep Filter Net 2 and I clicked Advanced Options. 100 means no attenuation limit. Let's just leave it at that for right now and see what it does. I'm going to click apply. And it took away quite a bit of the noise. Now let's play back through this again and let's compare. Wow. That's significant. It went from up around a negative 39 to a negative 36 uh, down to, looks like the peak is around a negative 57, a negative 60 somewhere in there. So it did do a lot of noise reduction. Now I'm going to press Command Z on my computer to undo that. If you're on a Windows computer, of course, it's Control Z. And then I'm going to release this loop and I'm going to clear the loop. So we're not looping through anymore. And then I'm going to rewind back to the beginning. I'm going to then look at the view, track size. I'm going to fit to width so that we can get the whole track in the window here. I'm going to select the entire track, and then I'm going to come back and put that effect on it again. Again, open Vino AI effects. 
and we're going to go to noise suppression. Now I'm going to leave it right where it is again, just for the sake of comparison. I'm going to click apply and let's see what it does to the parts of the uh, waveform that actually have vocal in them. So I'm going to click apply and it cleaned it up pretty good. Now at this point, I want to put my headphones on so that I can listen to this with you. Sometimes I get tired of wearing headphones. They seem to be kind of uh, intrusive or whatever. But I need them on right now while we listen to this together. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to put my cursor right about here. And uh, let's play through part of this and see what we can see what we can hear, see what the audio sounds like with the vocal on it. With today's release of Audacity version 3.7.4. I wanted to come outside here and get some audio recorded outdoors so that I could get a little bit of noise in it so that we can look at the AI noise reduction that's available in Audacity 374. It's been available in the Windows version, but I have a Mac and today it was released for the Mac. Okay, now let's try this just as a further experiment. I'm going to come up to edit and I'm going to undo that noise suppression on the entire track. And then I'm going to put the cursor in the same spot. Let's listen to it pre-noise suppression. With today's release of Audacity version 3.7.4, I wanted to come outside here and get some audio recorded outdoors so that I could get a little bit of noise in it so that we can look at the AI noise. That's definitely an improvement, in my opinion. Again, this is AI. It is destructive on the track, just like uh, regular noise suppression would be. But it did a good job, don't you think? I need to find out what the rest of those settings are within that dialog box and I report that back to you. If you've already played with this in Windows and you want to leave a comment to that effect, please do. Feel free to comment below and I will respond to that. I will dialogue with you on that. But I'm excited to see this AI uh, noise suppression effect in Audacity. Again, it's version 3.7.4, which was released today. And uh, it's available on the Mac. So if you're a Mac user and you want to start using this AI noise reduction, it might be a good tool for you to use. So I'm going to do this now just because I like to be thorough. I'm going to come back up to the effect drop down window and I'm going to reapply the noise suppression. Again, I forgot to do the basics. I've been using Audacity for 20 plus years. And I still forget to do this. So let's try it again. Be patient with me. And we're going to apply noise suppression on this. I'm going to tell it to apply. And while it's thinking about it, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply the transcription to it. And let's see what it does while we've got it selected. Now, when I come up to apply the, trans the uh, transcription, it's going to put that transcription in a... A label track right below this track and then we can save that label track as a text file and we'll have a transcription at no additional cost so let's try this again it's in the same spot open vino ai effects this time we're going to go to whisper transcription and let's see what it does it opens up this window here again i've played around with this some i don't really understand what these are just yet but I will. Give me time. And uh, I think it defaults as base, so I put it back to base. The initial prompt, again, I want to investigate these and find out what they are. But let's click apply and let's let it transcribe. And it's doing its thing. And you can see there, let me raise this up some. You can see that it put this label track down below uh, our track. If we export this, if I select the entire label track and then I come up to file and I export other and I export labels, let's see where we can put this. Let's put it right here on the desktop and I'm going to save it. There's one there, so I'm just going to replace it. And then let's go back to the desktop. This is where we're at right there. It's just a text file. If I open it up, on the Mac, again, it brings this window. I'm going to scroll this to the side so that it doesn't uh, roll the, uh, to the next line. And you can see that it puts timestamps, and it has my uh, verbiage that I spoke in this whole thing. I've looked at this a few times, and it looks pretty good. It, it's catching the words, and it's, uh, I haven't seen a lot of mistakes in it. 
that need correcting. The one thing that I do miss is is that uh, for a raw text file, I kind of wish I didn't have the timestamps. I get this if we're going to use it for closed captioning or something like that. You need that. But uh, for just a raw text file, if I select through this, of course, it gets the timestamps. And if I want to clean it up, put it in a PDF or leave it in text format, I've got to do something with those timestamps if I don't want them in there. But again, if I'm going to use it for, uh, say, closed captioning of some sort, those timestamps become important. So that is how you export the transcript as a text file. I'm going to close that. Get back here to Audacity. That's what I wanted to look at today. I wanted to look at those two things because, again, I don't do music anymore. I haven't done music since the mid-90s. And I have no intention of going back to music, but it looks like it's got some pretty good tools, pretty strong tools in there for that as well. So that's a look at the AI transcription and the AI noise suppression in Audacity version 3.7.4. I hope you found this useful. And until next time, y'all take care.